AutoCAD LT 2012 for Mac includes a number of features designed to help you use the product more intuitively. Almost all the best time-saving tools from the Windows version of AutoCAD LT are also available here, on the Mac. First, there are many different ways to access commands in AutoCAD LT for Mac. You can use the tool sets, menu bar, or type commands in the dynamic input field. If you choose to type, you'll notice that as you type, AutoCAD LT for Mac provides a list of commands and system variables that match the characters you've entered. Keep typing, and the list is refined to match the new string. The first item in the list can be selected by pressing Enter, but you can also use the arrow keys or the mouse to select an item from the list. Another way to quickly access commands is with grips. Grips are the small blue squares that you see when you select objects. Hover your cursor over some of these grips, and a pop-up menu appears with the functions that apply to that particular grip. For example, you can use the grip at the end of a line to stretch it or lengthen it. With an arc, the center grip can be used to stretch the arc's midpoint or to change its radius. After you choose an option from the multifunctional menu, you can cycle between the other functions by pressing the control key. You can also use the space bar to cycle between the regular grip modes, stretch, move, rotate, scale, and mirror. Other objects with multifunctional grips include dimensions, multiliters, hatch objects, and polylines. There's one more way that AutoCAD LT 2012 for Mac puts the commands you need, where you need them, when you need them, contextual visors. When you select a hatch object, a visor appears at the top of the drawing window with all the settings specific to hatches, from pattern and color, through angle, scale, and boundary options. Visors are also provided for a number of other objects and situations, such as for external references, associative arrays, and when working in a layout. 